Hello everybody and welcome to the Cinepax YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can make these awesome free fire effects and water effects inside of DaVinci Resolve. So let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Head on over to the Cinepax website, over to the free pack section. We are using the fire and water sample pack today. Add that to your cart and just head on over to checkout. Put in your email, that's where you're going to get the download link. Everything else doesn't really matter and you'll be set to download. All right, once you have the zip file downloaded, all you gotta do is double click on it to extract it and go ahead and find the two sample packs and drag them outside of that folder. And then from there, we can go over to DaVinci, find them in the media storage and just drag them into your media pool and you are all set. All right, so this completely free pack that you can use for any of your projects comes with a few fire transitions, a few fire overlays, some sound effects and some even cooler transitions that I'm gonna show you how to use. They're all 4K, Apple ProRes, so you have plenty of resolution to work with. Now the first thing I want to show you is how to use these paper burn effects. As you can see, there's two different versions here. You have the white, which is your mask, and then you have the actual overlay that you put on top of it. So let me show you how to put these all together. So go ahead and find your clip that you want to apply this effect to, and we're going to take it into Fusion, all right? Now once you have Fusion open, opened up here, the first thing you're going to do is open up your media pool and find the mask version, which is the black and white one, and drag that on in. Uh, if we want to, we can press F2, name this mask, that way you keep track of everything, and drag it into the blue mask of, blue basically is your mask of the media in. Then go on over to your keyframe editor and find your mask and drag it to the end of the footage because that's where we want our transition to occur. And finally, to get it to work, click on your media in, change the mask channel to luminance. And as you can see, if we play this through, there we go, it works perfectly. To wrap everything up, go ahead and grab our overlay, which is the second clip here. Hold down shift and drag it in between the two outputs and it will merge it right on top of the top layer. Then go on into your keyframe editor and drag this one over as well. Now one important thing to note when you drag all of these to the end of your clip, make sure they all line up to basically this number. As you can see, this frame is 206 and we have everything lined up to frame 206. If I have something like this right here and I trim it down, so I want the transition to only occur right here, when I take this clip into Fusion, when you first open it up, it will basically create two in and out points of where you just trimmed it down. And that is what this number is right here. And inside of Fusion, as you can see, here's the rest of the clip that did not get trimmed. So you wanna make sure that your transition is happening on this frame where you have it trimmed, which is this number right here. So just make sure that all your clips are lined up to the correct frame that you have it trimmed to. But back to our other clip, now that you can see, we have everything overlaid and this is merged right on top of it. We can go straight back into our edit page and as you can see, it's transparent. So all we have to do is drag whatever footage we want to be revealed underneath it and play this through. And we got a sick burning transition. Now the other things inside this pack include uh, my personal favorite, the embers. So if we just drag these in um, and switch the blend mode to uh, screen all the way down here, uh, play this through, we have awesome embers that are burning around. And what I love about the embers is these practically go everywhere. Like I can just put them wherever I want, put down this clip right here and maybe just duplicate it. And as you can see, the embers look amazing right here. We also have a few fire bursts, which are the exact same thing. You just go ahead, drag these in, switch them to screen. And there we go, we have some awesome fire on the bottom there. We also have a fire burst right there. Now in some situations, depending on what kind of footage you have, you can see that even once we have it on the screen effect, the woman is still showing through a little bit. So if we go ahead and throw this into the color page, we can fix that really easily using our wheels here. Um, all we have to do is bring up our gain a little bit. Then the fire is much more deeper and richer and it's not showing through anything underneath it. Along with that, you got the fire transition here, drag this in, change it to screen, and you'll have a cool transition between these two clips. Um, and I might wanna line that up just a little bit better right there, perfect. And I'm gonna go ahead and just click the flip, that way it comes from the other direction. I think that, uh, oh, that didn't work right there that one and there and now it comes from the other direction and it looks really cool and to finish things off we could just drag in this burst sound effect here over the transition 
And that wraps up the whole effect. To change the colors of any of these, just bring them over into the color page and as usual, just mess with the hue slider and you can easily change this to whatever color that you want. You could also use one of the free included LUTs to change the color. To install that LUT, all you have to do is go over to the, let's see, file to the project settings and from there, go to color management and open LUT folder. Then all you have to do is drop that free LUT into this category wherever you want. You can make your own folder just to organize it. And once you do that, just click update lists and that will update your LUTs. As you can see, I have the full pack, which comes with all the LUTs, which is available for purchase with our fire pack. This free pack only comes with one. But to apply LUT, all you have to do is right click over it and apply LUT to current node. And as you can see, it automatically threw out that awesome uh, blue inferno onto there. You could also switch it to something like toxic, which is kind of got a wasty sort of like green feel. Or my personal favorite, which is inferno, which will give it a really deep and fiery color. Last but not least, nothing goes better with fire than water. There are also these awesome overlays of water. There's like a transition right here, which you can go ahead and change the screen just like any of the other effects. So if you play this through, you get a cool little water transition effect. There's also a water screen overlay, which changes the screen as well. And that also will give you a cool little aesthetic to any of your music videos or other videos that you have just another little thing to mess around with so that just about wraps it up for today if you guys liked this pack and you want to buy the full version which comes with many more effects and overlays and things that you can mess with head on over to cinepax website and use sample code 15 sample 15 that will give you 15 percent off your order for any of the packs that you want to get so happy editing have a great day and see you next time